Hi, I'm Allison Bucolt Al, and today I'm going to be talking to you about one of my favorite Visual Studio features that I don't think enough people know about, saved window layouts. So saved window layouts are great for those of you who have different windows or uh, tool panels open, depending on what you're doing. So whether you're on a multi-monitor setup where you have plenty of space and you can drag the output window to one monitor and have your code editor in another versus those of you on laptops who maybe have a setup for debugging versus looking at work items versus your classic coding. Save window layout saves you time by letting you save your window layout and then apply them on the fly without having to drag windows around to where you'd like them, resize them, and so forth. So with that, let's go ahead and jump in. So here you see I've got my classic you know, work item window here. This is great because when I'm looking at my work items, that's really all I want to do. So I've got my work item layout here. If I go to window, apply window layout, you'll see that I've already got many window layouts here. I've got a testing one, a debugging one, and a work item one. And let's see what that looks like. So if I go to testing, it asks me, am I sure I want to apply it? Because it's about to rearrange my whole screen here. If I trust it all the time, I can always click this check mark and say, don't show me this again, and click OK. And here you'll see it changed it. It opened up my test explorer, which I like to have open when I'm doing testing. It opened up my error list. And I'm actually going to open up my solution explorer as well for this case. And I can go ahead and open any files that I'd like. But what's great is that I didn't have to, you know, go to my commands and my menus and find test explorer. I didn't have to rearrange my error list. It was just applied for me. Now you might have noticed that there's also the ability to use shortcuts. So I can do Control Alt 2, Control Alt 3. So if I wanted to do the debugging one, let's go ahead and debug this test to show how this would work. I'll go ahead and debug this. Cool, so now we're in debugging mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Control Alt 3. And it's going to say, do I want to apply the layout debugging? And I say, OK. So now it's given me the debugging layout that I personally like. It's got my breakpoints, my watch window, and my locals. And the great thing is I can always create new window layouts. So let me go ahead and stop this. So let's say, for example, now that I'm back here, I want to go ahead and pin my Solution Explorer I want to get rid of my error list, or sorry, my output window so that my error list is here. And now that I have my code window open and solution explorer open, I want to go ahead and save this as my code editing. Let's actually close test explorer. We don't need test explorer if we're just code editing. So what I can do is I can go to window. I can go to save window layout and I can write code edits. That's what I'm going to name it and click OK. And now that has been saved as a window layout for my code editing scenario. So now I can actually easily flip between any of these. I can go back to testing very easily. I can do Control Alt 5 and go to my code edits and see that as well. And so saved window layouts really allows you to be able to take control of your window layouts and save presets so that you aren't wasting your time rearranging all your windows on different monitors or trying to figure out the best way uh, to lay it out every time you open a new solution or enter a new mode of development. What's also great is that if you're like me and you are constantly docking and undocking your laptop, you might notice that every now and then, if you've got a, a window that's outside of the, the main Visual Studio window, that sometimes it flies off the edge and you can't even access it. So like if I were to put this like over here where it's sort of going off the edge 
and unplug it from a monitor, sometimes I can't even access that window. But the great thing is that with Save Window Layouts, it can snap it all back to the screen that you're used to. So no more having to restart Visual Studio in order to get your windows back. I hope this helps you guys, and I hope that you enjoy saved window layouts as much as I do.